These are my top features of the new 15 inch MacBook Air. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and let's start off with my first top feature and that's the new display. Apple has a glorious new 15.3 inch display on the new 15 inch MacBook Air. It retains the same 224 ppi pixel density as the 13 inch MacBook Air, which is even better. Because it's a larger display, I sit just slightly further back from it, making the pixels look even more indiscernible to the naked eye. It has other great specs including P3 wide color gamma support and up to 500 nits of brightness. It isn't mini LED like the MacBook Pros, but still, it's a great looking display. And it comes in a new larger size. Number two is the power adapter. Apple gives you two choices with the 15 inch MacBook Air, compared to only two choices with the 13 inch MacBook Air. Apple lets users choose between the 35 watt dual USB-C output or the 70 watt USB-C single output. The 70 watt one will give you fast charging to give you a 50% charge in only 30 minutes and the dual output lets you charge two devices at the same time. With a 13 inch MacBook Air, Apple actually charges a $20 premium if you want the 35 watt dual output or the 70 watt one for fast charge. Feature number three is the thickness. The new MacBook Air is incredibly thin and because the new larger size, it actually feels even thinner than it seems. It's only 0.45 inches thick compared to 0.61 for the MacBook Pro. It's also very light, weighing only 3.3 pounds compared to 3.5 pounds for the thicker 14 inch MacBook Pro. And because this is so wide and skinny at the same time, it actually feels even thinner than it is. When I compare it to the 14 inch MacBook Pro, the 14 inch MacBook Pro feels very tight and dense and even heavier in the hand. This thing just feels super light. Like literally, it, it feels so light and it's great to slide into my backpack and carry with me wherever I go. Next up is the M2 chip. The M2 isn't Apple's newest chip. Of course, we have the M2 Pro and M2 Max and even the M2 Ultra in the updated Mac Studios and Mac Pro. But the thing is, the M2 is still a great chip. It's still very fast. And in fact, you're getting the same single core performance on this $1,300 MacBook Air compared to the $2,000 MacBook Pro. The M2 Pro and the Fortune MacBook Pro has a bunch of benefits, but for the price, you get great performance on this machine. Plus, it's entirely fanless, which means it runs silent when you're using it. Number five, speakers. The 15 inch MacBook Air has two pairs of force canceling woofers with two additional tweeters for twice the bass depth when compared to the 13 inch MacBook Air. Plus, it still supports great things like Dolby Atmos Spatial Audio, so when you're listening to uh, music or watching a movie, the sound sounds like it's coming from all around you, from in front of you, from beside you, above you, even behind you in some situations. It's really cool and very immersive. Hey, I gotta interject for just a moment to thank our sponsor for this video, MacPaw, and Clean My Mac X. It's time to keep an eye on your Mac's health. Junk files, malicious apps, and hung processes can slow down even the latest and most powerful Macs. Maintaining your Apple machine's health, whether old or new, is essential to smooth macOS performance. Clean My Mac X is an all-in-one Mac maintenance tool that takes care of old junk, faulty apps, and malware in an efficient, aesthetically pleasing, and hassle-free way. Using the apps menu, you can monitor your Mac's health, CPU load, and more. With nearly 30 million downloads and 15 years of expertise, this app is a must try for any Mac user. Run Clean My Mac X to gear up your Mac for the groundbreaking additions Apple has announced at this year's WWDC. As Apple continues to pack Macs with innovative new features, Clean My Mac X is here to ensure that your hardware is running at peak performance so that you can enjoy a seamless Mac OS experience. Exclusive to Apple Insider watchers, you can grab a 5% discount for Clean My Mac X down below in the description. Now, let's get back to that other coverage. How about the new stickers? With the new MacBook Airs, Apple's including a set of stickers on the inside, which is great as always. But what's really cool is these are actually color matched to the model that you're getting. So you could get silver slash white and space gray, or you can get starlight or midnight. I do have the Midnight MacBook Air here, as you can tell by the fingerprints all over the outside. Uh, but this comes with two Midnight color, like these bluish, blackish, grayish uh, stickers that I can stick wherever I want to. Apple stickers are cool, and I feel like people really like getting new and unique colors, and the new Air is one of the ways that you can do that. I know I spoke about this for a moment, but 
let's talk about the fanless design. The fanless design cannot be overstated. It's incredible. I mean, you're getting this great performance, but the computer runs completely silent during operation. The 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros each have fans inside, and they do spin up when your machine is under heavy load. Apple will toll down the processor a bit when it starts to get warm, especially if you're putting on something like a blanket. But for most tasks and most usage, that's not going to be the case, and things are just open really, really fast, and all your computer is utterly silent. It's completely magical, and when Apple made the switch to the fanless design years ago with the MacBook, I was in love with it, and it's been one of my favorite things ever since. I love that the new MacBook Air continues to be completely fanless. Finally, a color match cable. Apple includes a MagSafe 3 cable that you can use to charge up your MacBook Air. When connected, you can see that it actually comes with a complementary color. So in my case, again, midnight MacBook to a midnight cable. If you got the Starlight version, come with the Starlight one. You can get silver and white with the silver version of the MacBook Air, or you can get space gray with the space gray version. I personally still really like this midnight color, even if it does show the fingerprints, and I appreciate that Apple includes a midnight cable in the box to go with it. But one thing though, even though the end is midnight and the cable is midnight, the other end is oddly white that plugs into the power adapter. Kind of wish that was the same color too. So that's it. Those are my top features of the new 15-inch MacBook Air. If you'd like to grab one for yourself, there are links down below in the description.